are still on protest victims and there was drama in Homer Bay as two families engaged in a standoff over the burial of the 12-year-old boy shot in Rongai during the anti-government protests two weeks ago. The families had prepared two separate funeral venues before police intervened by enforcing a court order to halt the planned burial. Crispin Otieno has the details. Scenes witnessed at Kamasengre village, Rusinga Island in Homer Bay County. Jacinta Anyango, mother to a 12-year-old boy who was shot in Rungai during anti-government protest, is in disbelief. Her family and villagers have been anxiously waiting for the final interment of Kennedy Onyango, whose killing through the bullet literally shook the nation. The standoff over the burial of the boy turned into tribulations for the boy's mother when their convoy was intercepted in Bitter Town. The casket bearing the body of the boy confiscated and taken away by the police who were enforcing a court order. <laughs> Kennedy Nyango kufika hapa mbita tuka chukulewa na maskari wakatuambia ibarua mam enda kotini Despite President Ruto's call and assurance that all shall be well Jacinta's tribulations is far from over with tears flowing down her cheeks Ruto alinipigia nikasema ndi uyo sasa president amenirumia amenipigia Kunipigia, akaniambia mama Kennedy, nika muambia tafadhali serikali, nisaidie mtoto wangu nimenyanganywa. Jacinta points at where the burial of the son was to take place this weekend. The agony on the faces of villagers evident. 85 kilometers away from Kamasengres village, burial arrangement is underway at the foot of Gwasi Hills. Dennis Okini, a strange husband to Jacinta is keen to bury his son. Here, he shares his tribulations since Kennedy's untimely death in Rungai. So mama alikuwa anajaribu kuficha mtoto aenda mzike bila baba kujua lakini nilijaribu juu chini babangu ajue jua kuna venye baba anaweza kupoteza mtoto wake hazina mtupe nje As the cloud of uncertainty hangs around burial of the minor Mbita Locots is set to rule on where Kennedy will finally be buried on the 17th of July Mimi nilibebea mtoto wangu hadi flower Chris Pinotino Citizen TV Iko na mamiezi Really sad story. Very sad. Yeah.